All right, everyone. Here we're going to be doing lesson five and lesson six. Uh, that's of our legal drug unit, getting help and staying drug free. All right, so getting help and staying drug free. All right. Um, the first step in getting help for drug abuse is for the user to recognize that he or she has a problem. Okay, that's huge. All right, you have to make sure uh, if you're going to try to help someone that they realize that they they need they have a problem. Okay, um, I remember telling you guys I believe about my mom who's a smoker, and we asked her to stop, and she said okay, but she was not ready to stop. So she didn't really think she had a problem, which is why it didn't work. Okay. So many users try to hide the problem or deny that one exists, but if you have a drug problem, you need to get help. Make sure you're taking care of yourself, the people around you, your friends, your family. People can't get help without admitting there's a problem. So if you have a drug problem, you need to get help. Sources of help include support groups, alcohol or drug treatment centers, or toll-free hotlines staffed by drug counselors. So drugs is a little, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty big deal. Uh, they have counselors and hotlines and uh, stuff all around the, the United States um, where you can get help. So how do we recognize when someone needs help? There are signs that show that someone may be dealing with a drug abuse problem. Okay, first, users may lose interest in, in activities or family or friends. They may frequently lie. To cover up addiction okay it's part of our responsibility when we see our friends not taking interest in what they normally used to or our family to try to get them help okay a lot of times we see that um, in some of the videos that we saw that people lie to cover up their addiction also losing interest we've talked about this before but it none more so than with drugs where Drugs become the main thing that people want. Drugs change your brain chemistry. Okay, remember in that article we read about the girl with the um, wisdom teeth? It said the drugs change your brain chemistry so that that's what you want. Things that you used to like, uh, drawing, um, playing sports, uh, playing music creating something that stuff does not matter anymore because all you are focused on is getting that next high so drug treatment options recovery begins okay um, when detox begins detox we talked about in our alcohol unit detoxification is that process of cleansing the body of the drug or harmful substance so when a person stops using the drug so the body can rid itself of its drug and its side effects, that is detoxification, okay? And you will experience withdrawal symptoms, most likely. Um, there are many options that exist to help people recover from drug abuse. There are treatment programs which include detoxification, the, the physical process of freeing the body of an addicted substance, counseling. This provides an opportunity to openly share thoughts and feelings with a trained expert. Support groups. This is a group of people who work together to help one another stay drug-free. Often, um, a group of recovering addicts is part of that support group. So, in the case of Alcoholic Anonymous, um, that those are recovering alcoholics. People who have drank and are in the same boat as the alcoholic. And um, they also have support groups with people who are recovering drug addicts. Um, a lot of times it's a huge help to stay connected and supported. Uh, as far as counseling goes, uh, you know, thoughts and feelings are important because people typically start to use drugs because of things that happen in life, whether it's a mental illness or anxiety, another issue, bullying uh, or whatnot. A lot of times this counseling is a great way to deal with that. That's the end of lesson five. We'll start lesson six, staying drug free. So how do you stay drug free? Well, part of it is a choice, okay? And you have that choice. You have to um, have confidence as well. That's one thing um, that you can never have a mu enough of. 
if you have that confidence in yourself, confidence in what you want to do, where you want to go in life, that's a huge part of, of being able to resist temptations like drugs. Choosing to be drug-free is one of the most important decisions that you can make. Drug-free is a characteristic of a person not taking illegal drugs or of a place where no illegal drugs are used. Okay, it's important to make decisions that will promote a healthy body and a, help, a healthy mind. The number one thing that you can do for yourself in regards to drugs is to stay drug free. Okay, so how does goal setting relate to that? Remember, right now, we should be setting goals to, to graduate high school, to go to college, to get a career we can have success in, to continue to live healthy lives. Um, having goals helps because you can it can put you in the point you in the right direction okay having goals it can be your excuse no i have soccer practice tomorrow morning or no i have a tournament this weekend i can't go out and get smashed tonight or uh, i know i'm not going to perform as good as i can if i use these so i'm not going to take them okay um yeah so refusing drugs how do you refuse drugs Okay, well first, saying no in a clear and confident way lets others know that you respect yourself and your health. Okay, what about with best friends though? What about at parties? You have to make a choice. If you don't decide until you're in the situation, it's going to be very hard for you to say no. Okay, or you might say no and they pressure you and you give in. So it's up to you to decide and make your choice beforehand. Um, so there's this analogy, stop, S-T-O-P, S stands for say no in a firm voice, T stands for tell why not, O offers alternative ideas and activities, and then P is promptly leave. Remember in our alcohol unit, we, we also had uh, the help analogy, which stands for health, is it healthy, E, is it ethical, L, is it lawful, and then P, would your parents approve? So I like that one as well. Positive alternatives to drug use. All right, just know we listed a ton of activities that we can do instead of uh, drinking. Those activities are the same for this. You can have fun and spend time with friends and family without drugs. You've been drug free up till now, even. And, you know, your life is pretty darn good. Uh, you know how to have fun without having, without, without drugs. All right, so here are some other alternatives. Uh, Begin a regular physical activity routine. Join in a school club or organize a new one. Write down your thoughts or express yourself through art. There are way uh, more things to do uh, without drugs than there are with drugs. Um, you know, I don't know anyone who used drugs say that their life is better because of drugs. Okay, all these things. You know, you can do these things, and, um, and there, there's so many more choices, too. You know, I hope all of you, when faced with this decision, make the best choice based on what you want out of life, not based on what your friends want. Because remember, with our anti-goals, anti um, as good as your friends are, um, you're most likely to get into situations that you might regret with your friends. So just make sure you're thinking about that. Make sure you're uh, thinking about your goals and the goals that you want to reach in life. All right, that's it for this lesson.